Hello, this is Red Crate Myrtle and I'm starting a new Realm Total War campaign and I'm going to be playing on very hard and very hard battles difficulty as SPQR, that's the Senate Roman faction. This will be a full game and it's inspired uh, by two things. One, I've never run this particular campaign at all and I accidentally came across a YouTube video of someone else who was and I was so appalled by what I saw that I felt I just had to do one uh, of my own even though I am far from being the best uh, Rome Total War player around. Uh, I think my strategy was infinitely better than what this other person did. I'm going to send my diplomat north to meet with the Gauls uh, before I'm at war with them. Let's look at our situation here. We have one city, Rome, which has a good population. We have the one agent, only a diplomat. And we do have three pretty good generals, including one who's five star. We do not have the two extra generals that Rome has when you're playing as a different faction. And also, if you look at the Rome or Senate armies, they all have three levels of experience at the beginning of the game. That makes for a very tough army. I want to look at the family briefly. There is a marriageable daughter and three sons, one of whom is 13, so he'll be a general in six more years and a very young daughter. I'm going to uh, look at the financial situation because that's very important uh, because we are going to lose money on every turn because we're making 1800 revenue the problem is the army is more expensive than our revenue so we're just going to lose money turn after turn unless we find a way of increasing our income and the only way to do that seriously is to get out and attack somebody so we're going to attack the Julii that's their diplomat we can get to a reading on the first turn so let's do so These troops in Rome also can get there. And that means all these rams can be built on the first turn. And these troops outside of Rome are going to be moved into Rome. And in Rome, I'm going to start building an archery range. And I'm going to retrain these troops uh, because there is a blacksmith here. And uh, apparently, these units have not been blacksmithed and I'm going to recruit Principes or Principes and uh, until I run out of money and I have enough money left over I can get a spy. I usually don't recruit in advance like that but if I don't recruit them now on the second turn I won't be able to recruit anybody I won't I don't expect to have any money. Okay that is it for the first turn I'm going to save it and you'll see there's a save there already. That's because I did some testing. I wanted to see what happened in certain circumstances. So I did test this a little bit. And let's start the second turn. I was interesting in... Okay. Continue that later. Okay, we, we're going to get a general because uh, Prisca, the marriageable daughter, has gotten married. And the civil war we just started has been blamed on the Brutii and the Scipii, which is fine with me. And we are in the hole. Recruiting and constructing put us in the hole, but you have to recruit or construct, or otherwise, you know, you never get anywhere. I want to show you these recruitment and construction reports as they occur, because eventually I cut out the part of the game where I do the city management at the end of each turn. So I spend a little bit more time showing you these things than other people, but I'll spend less time on other even more boring stuff. Okay, we have some brigands. Brigands are useful because we can use those under certain circumstances to create more generals, and we can always use them to train our troops. Our troops, however, don't really need training. They're already highly trained. Engage the enemy! 
Let's fight a battle here. Notice that the Rome, the Julii, did not bring up the rest of their forces to help this city. They could have brought in about 10 more units there. They didn't do that. So they have two Histadi and the faction air against our army. What I was testing was to see what would happen when you enslaved a city. Under the rules for the faction, the Julii, the Scipii, and the Bruti, uh, half of all slaves go to Rome, regardless of where you want them to be sent. And I wanted to know if that rule applied if you ran the Senate. And it turns out, based on my test, that it does not. So you have free management of your slaves, which is a very good thing. I think I'll put all these guys on fire at will. Okay. Let's get started with the battle. Speed the game up. Doesn't look like they're going to contest our entrance into the city, but I like to have multiple entrances uh, so that I can outflank enemy units. So these Velotes up here. They can run. Don't wear them out, they're not wearing armor. Looks like they've got one Histadi at the wall, and then the general and the other Histadi are down on the town square. Our soldiers are at the gates! Now they must batter our way through! Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter our way through! And the Veltes are throwing over the wall, doing, uh, doing some damage. Good. The Veltes aren't very useful, but they're not, they're not completely useless. They're pretty short range, however. Soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Just get the rest of my army up there while I'm waiting for the other holes to be punched. The guards have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Okay. Looks like they were hit by some Pila. They're going to throw some Pila. We're going to go in. Those guys are probably going to run away. But not yet. These are Romans. They're probably pretty decent morale. Let's get the general up there. So we can chase those guys down. I don't have any other cavalry at the beginning of the now game except for the generals and that's something I'll be rectifying place. in this city. I want these guys to come around behind. Not to get involved from the front. Come on. Okay, they routed. Of course, they've gone the other way. It's okay. These guys can get them. And my commander can get them. He runs. You guys can stay out of the way. There's the other general. And I may just continue with this guy down there. I'll try to set up one of my traps. 
These are all the study. Where's my print base? Here we go. I like to get units to come out away from the town square. And I do that by using a unit as bait. Now here, the only bait I actually have is one of my generals. I prefer to use other cavalry, but I, I just I don't have that. So I'll go with what I have. Should speed this up. I often forget to do that. I usually play on slow speed. I almost never play on triple speed because that's when bad things happen. The computer thinks much more quickly than I do, and that's usually when it will pick to attack me is when I'm triple speed because it just knows I can't react well. I think those would be close enough. Okay, let's walk our general down here. I'm going to try to entice the other general the Julii General to chase my general out into my infantry. This often works, it doesn't always work, and it might be a little bit tedious. But it's it's one good way of dividing the opponent's units so they can be conquered, killed one unit at a time. There is a bit of risk. That's the risk, that your guys get involved and will take some casualties, but it's usually made up for by the potential to kill the enemy general and destroy his bodyguard far, far away from the town square. It looks like it's working right now. Pretty much if they've come up this far, why don't you come up that way? Pretty much when they've come out this far, they're going to come all the way out. And so we're... Rinka Pays are going after him. Okay, so we've got him in our trap. Let's see what happens here. Looks like he's pretty surrounded. Down to 27. Taking casualties, and he's dead. That's what we wanted. We kill his escort right now, that's good. Not essential. As many of them as we can. Uh, that's very successful, we got them all. Okay, one unit to go. We're gonna put my Velites. Is there a good place? What I like to do is get some free throws at uh, the enemy. So let's get these guys formed up. They, they look to be in good shape. And my Velites have lots of uh, their little uh, javelins. So I'll try to try to use them. I want to minimize my casualties because of the shortness of money. It's going to make it difficult for me to uh, reinforce or to replace uh, lost units until I get some more money. And hopefully in about five turns I'll have that straightened out. The chances that I'll be able to draw this last unit off the town square are very, very small. Final units usually don't uh, leave the town square. Occasionally you can lure them out, but it's it's hard to do. I don't count on it, I just look at it as it's a lucky thing when it happens. I do have my other general here, uh, under so he may, under the right circumstances, be able to come in and attack these guys from behind. OK, 
Okay, they're they're throwing. Whatever damage they do is good. Just hope they do some. And they are. Good. Stay too long, or that will happen. And those guys are just standing there. And amazingly enough, they took a whole volley, two volleys, and they didn't get hurt. That's uh, rather surprising, I must say. Okay, throw at them again. You get one more throw here. Let's speed that up to medium speed. Maybe she say double speed. Let's get that other Velotase down here. They did quite well. Why don't you get out of there? come down. They did some serious damage on that last throw because my Velotes were had their backs turned and they still had some peel left. I suspect that they're out by now and they are down to only 55 guys. That's the Prince of Ace. Any other Prince of Ace? Yeah, let's move him up. You can hear the uh, javelins rattling off the spears. These guys are perfectly positioned. They have their spears towards the Velotes. I mean shields, not spears. Misspoke there. And they still have Pilo left. Okay, my guys, and these guys are out, so you get out of there. These are guys you should not be charging. More PLO for they have a lot. They, they must have more than I remember. I was thinking they have three, but maybe it's five. do too much. I don't think they did too much. Get these prank cafes down here. Finish things off. Yeah, Ollie, they got him good. Yeah, you guys better get running. We get caught in between. And no, 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 no. Keep running. The gods be praised. Yeah, those guys are capable of causing casualties. And I, I want to avoid casualties more than I want to accumulate uh, kills for morale, since my guys already have good morale. Okay, I've taken my first city, and unfortunately, I'm going to have to exterminate it, because I really need money. And enslaving it puts all the slaves into Rome, because that's my only city. Sorry guys. Okay, one city down. Let's see how beat up I am. Okay, you've got a little bit of damage. Hey, 
Mix up my units. One is tardy. Okay. Well, if they're just going to stand out there. Let's see. What's the morale here? It's very good. I need to fix the wall. And I can retrain the Histadi. That's good. And I can even recruit here right now. Uh, because I do have a little bit of money. don't have enough money to construct anything. And I can set that up. And that gives me a little bit of money. So what's in our minimum? Only four units, but they may move everything over there, so I really can't afford to leave a lot of people here. Can I get people here from down there? I'll have to kick these guys out of the way. I can do that with my generals. So I will move, generals. I think, everybody except the study I'm fixing out of town. See what that does. And morale is still good. So General. all you are going to go over there. For sir. And siege that city. Siege, sir. Let's get those guys out of the way. Sir. Whatever they are. I'll give my generals some training. They're not a faction, they're rebels. Okay. Town watch. You guys are not going to last long. If I auto resolve this, which I easily could, I'll just create some casualties. They might disappear, but they also. Uh, I'm not going to get the number of kills that I will at that if, if I actually fight the battle. So I'm, I'm basically uh, blooding my generals, giving them some experience. Sandwich these guys right and left. Hopefully kill the captain off really quickly. And make sure my general doesn't get killed. Rally. Smash. And the gods be praised. it's done. The enemy's hearts are full of fear and now they flee. Finish this off. I don't think I suffered more than two or three casualties. Eight percent of fifty sounds like four. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is clear. Okay, uh, four. One of them came back, and the others will come back because these are generals. Alrighty, successful little battle. Oh, you're kidding me, they can't get there. Sir. That's not good. General. Sir. Sir. That kind of interferes with my plans. Order. You can get there, can't you? Onward. This guy's in the way. I have to Mark. kick him to the side. And, uh, now can you get in? March. Being interfered with by, uh, Sir. diplomats and, uh, other things. Your Let's move you up. At once. I shall speak with them at once. 
Well, we're going to leave you two guys there just in case. And we'll have a bunch of troops sitting south of Iridium. But that is going to... Uh, well, it won't spoil my plans because I'll be able to finish moving them in there. I want to have a general in Iridium and not have a general in Rome on the next turn. That's, that's what I want. But I can do that when I move on the beginning of the next turn. So I am done moving this turn. Let's check my public order. I can raise taxes here. And I am constructing, well, or recruiting everything I can. Here I'm just doing repairing and one recruitment. Okay, that is the end of the second turn. Hello, this is Red Crate Myrtle, and this is turn three of my SPQR campaign of Rome Total War. Let's get going. Okay, Julia, I have sent their whole army down to defend their last city. Not surprising. This is all Town Watch. So an even battle. We do have more experience, however they do have uh, archers. And I want to get rid of those guys. Let's get started. The enemy have brought up more men. Where's the main enemy army? Right there. The other guys don't concern me. That's a bunch of Town Watch. There's the archers, and there are the generals, and those are my main targets. Speed this up a bit. Where are the other reinforcements? They're directly behind the, the army on the map. Okay. That would be a good time to get a screen print for the video. This looks pretty scenic. Yeah, I like that. I often forget to do that and then I'm stuck with whatever random battle scenes I, the uh, YouTube gives me. Archers are well protected. They're going to send a couple of Stadi out after me, not surprising. I'm going to move my generals. I don't want to deal with that. And there go the archers. Slow down the game so I can react more quickly to what the uh, computer does. Get away from those Pila. In fact, I may have an opportunity to get this one general by himself, and if I... No, he backed off a bit. Can, I will. Okay, he's coming out now. Go get him. Go get him. Rally my general. They're not surrounded. And I need to watch out for this other general. I don't want to fight two generals at once. Get out of there. Maybe I can run them back into my forces. I should say, lead them back into my forces. Where they will face uh, all sorts of things thrown at them. Which is what exactly what is happening. And that's what I want to happen. Even if they don't kill them, they'll, they'll do some damage. And they should be uh, putting some uh, hits on them. And that's what that's good. Also, now we, we now have their general in a bad position because he's on the side facing my guys. So let's see if we can kill a general. It's always sad to see a fellow Roman disgrace himself. All right, he is dead. We got we got what we wanted. So that is one dead general. You get back in formation. Take out the Velites. What is going on there? 
Those guys are fighting on their own. Shouldn't be doing that. You guys go down there and help them. Where's the other general? Right there. And I'm not sure if that's the other general or the remnants of the first escort, but whatever it is, go kill it. There's the archers. It's always sad to see a fellow Roman disgrace himself in battle. Okay, he's just the routing. General is in flight. Well, those are Hastati routing. I'll go get him. Get my army down there. Looks like we're doing pretty well. What have we got? Casualties 17 to 36 percent. That's nothing great. Go get those guys. There is a something. I don't know if that's a partial escort. Or the general come back. These guys are done. Well, that's the other general down there. Okay. So the other general is still alive. You're doing pretty well. Oh, that's the reinforcements. Excuse me. That's right. I, I actually forgot about those guys. Let's get away from here. I don't like this. I know it's just town watch, but it's more guys attacking me. They're down to 15. Now I can attack back, and I don't have to worry about town watch. What's my main army doing? It looks like they're chewing up people. The gods be praised! That's another Enemy's general. Hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Let's take out that unit. What happened to the archers? I was concerned about them. Is that them? Good. They are on the run. Be praised. Let's continue Enemy's killing people. Are full of fear, and now they flee. We can do that. Looks like the all they have left may just be that one general and whatever escort he has, which is which is ideal. That would be perfect. Chase those guys. You keep chasing those guys. And we will pretty much wipe out their army. So this will actually turn out very well. Let's speed this up. One problem here is that sometimes these units like to run with them people and units instead of attacking them. Did you get all those guys? Good. Come after these. That's better. Peel that infantry out of the way. I think that's it. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Okay, looks like we had one unit beat up pretty bad, but that's about it. Let's look and see. The generals had some casualties. They'll get those back. Triari. 
Okay. Uh, and print your face. Ooh. That's rare going to be that bad. I must have routed. Okay, we did some, so we suffered significant casualties. I don't need for either of these two cities to. Oh, I am going to capture it. Oh, brother. I'd like to keep the people, but I don't need more people in Rome. And I'd really like to have the money. It's a tough call. Oh boy. Uh, That will only leave me 900 people. I'm going to have to uh, enslave. Uh, definitely give me some dough. And I'll make a deal. Try to get a thousand denarii here. Trade deals are really good ways to get extra money should always get money if you can. Uh, we'll try again next turn. Okay, the Julii are done for. So it was a little bit too successful. More brigands in my way, and more brigands there. I'm getting... Okay, those are the two living generals. That makes sense. Are these what's left of the Roman army? They might be. I'll probably have to fight those guys sometime, but there's no reason to get in a hurry about it. Clean up my uh, units here. Orders. General. Well, that was close. Let's see what's down here. They're, they're interfering with me. Town watch, Astadi, Astadi, and Equites. Hmm. They're in my way. They're gonna have to go. Combining troops. I need to do a save because my uh, copy of Rome on this PC tends to do weird things from time to time and I have to basically abandon the game. So this is a good time to save. I'd hate to lose uh, all I've done this turn. They don't scare me a bit. Equites is their general. Let's get up and get some high ground advantage. And 
have a town watch that will be easy to route. It's in the middle, it's protected. side but I wasn't. The gods have filled the heart of the enemy general with fear. I'm gonna chase him now through the Zekmates. Like I mean through those Town watch. We will we will charge those guys. We will charge those guys. That was that charge came up a little short. Come on, we need, we want to finish those guys. So we can start routing those other guys. Those guys, we just routed anyway. But they should have been there to help our infantry. They were late to the party. I'm gonna go after you guys again if you stand around. The enemy army is yeah, in getting, We're here to get some kills, so let's do that. Chasing one guy, two guys. Get him. Yeah, let's finish this. Okay, the last guy ran off. Victory from her generals, and this day is. Lost a lot of Astati to their Astati. Not good. But hopefully the road back to Rome is clear now. Because that's what this was all about. Clearing that road. Good. Because, I mean, we're going to have to go this way real quick. So we'll continue. We'll send uh, one general back to Rome. And we'll send one general there. These guys definitely have to go back to Rome. Give you, they don't get through this turn, but they'll do, they will next turn. Can I be of service? I shall speak with them at once. Let's try again. Well, they're singing the same song. Sir! Orders! Orders! Sir! Okay, next turn I will go after uh, Segesta. Anybody else I want to move? Another general over here. 
And I don't think I need all of those troops there for any reason. Oh, let's let's look at the cities before we go any farther. All the cities are happy. Stables. So I can start getting equities. And I'm out of money. Retrain. So I have three units to retrain. There. And what about our minimum? We do have a little bit of money, so let me cut somebody out of the recruitment queue. I want to get spies, so let's take out one of the Principes. That'll give me money to retrain these guys. That'll bring them up to strength and blacksmith everybody. And uh, that's good. Already, that is the end of turn three already. Let's see what our finances look like. Looks like we're at uh, break even territory, roughly. So we're, we're getting there. And we should take Segesta the next turn. So again, uh, I will stop the video, save, and restart in a moment. Thank you for watching. Post any questions or comments on YouTube.